Hi, it's Steve here. Um, I just thought I'd take a few moments to talk to you today about uh, the bundas or uh, locks or seals that we use in pranayama and yogic breathing. They're an important part of uh, understanding the practice and deepening it. So um, it is worth knowing what they are and why we use them and uh, when to use them, I guess. So just uh, so we know, there are three main bundas. So the word bunda is Sanskrit meaning lock or seal. And the three main bundas that we use primarily in pranayama, but also in our asana, our postural practice, are Jalandara bunda, chin lock, and uh, Mula bunda, root lock, which is engagement of the pelvic floor. And then we have Uddiyana bunda, which is sometimes called the abdominal lock. Sometimes we can call it thoracic lock, but I'm going to go over all three of them, starting with Jalandara Bandha, which is probably the simplest. We try here to keep a sense of the chin pulling down and back and the collarbones lifting up. So it's sort of about trying to keep the back of the neck in line with the rest of the spine, if you want to think of it in that shape. So if I turn sideways, it's not that, but sort of that kind of position. There are some very older traditions uh, very much older traditions that have it with the head hanging all the way forward. But generally speaking, we think of Jalandara Bandha with the crown of the head lifted up, the chin back, and the collarbones lifting up to meet the chin. And this posture or this Bandha is important when we're taking pranayams so that we don't bring pressure to the head. So it's sort of a physiological lock. It helps to close the glottis and help us to, bring in pre to prevent bringing pressure to the head when we're taking particularly longer retentions in slow breath rhythms. So that's Jalandara Bandha, pretty simple. Just think of the chin dropping down, the collarbones lifting up, and the base of the skull moving back and up so the neck is fairly straight. And then uh, we have Mula Bandha, the engagement of the pelvic floor, or sometimes known as the root lock or base lock. In some particularly asana traditions, Mula Bandha is taught with a really strong abdominal retraction, so there's this real sort of pull back through transverse abdominus, the deeper abdominal muscles. But particularly for pranayama, and I actually believe in most asana postures as well, we actually want to keep it quite uh, a lot more subtle than that. So it's not so much about pulling the stomach back as pulling up through the pelvic floor. And a good way to think of it, if you're not quite sure what that means, is if you were going to the toilet, if you were having a pee and you wanted to stop midstream, um, yes, I did, did say having a pee. Uh, <laughs> but if you wanted to stop the flow midstream, the muscles you would use are essentially the muscles that we activate in Mula Bandha. So it's just a very gentle pulling upwards. Um, Mula Bandha helps to keep the lower back straight and stable without necessarily bringing hardness to the abdominal organs. Uh, so it's a really important practice, particularly when we're sitting just to keep things nice and stable. And then we have as our third lock, we have Uddiyana Bandha, so sometimes called abdominal lock um, or thoracic lock. It literally translates as flying upwards and it's the most complex, but in some of the texts, the most important of the three Bandhas. And it involves exhaling and making a, a false inhalation to the chest, which brings the abdominal organs and muscles in and up through creating a partial vacuum. So it sort of looks like this. We exhale and then lift the rib cage without letting any breath come in. So Jalandara Bandha is active here. And that lock is done with the abdominal muscles soft. So we're not squeezing the stomach muscles back. As I say, it's uh, done by creating a partial vacuum in the lungs by expanding the rib cage uh, without it allowing any air to come in. So again, Jalandra Bandha keeps the glottis closed. It is important if there's any reason you're not doing strong stomach work not to take Uddiyana Bandha. So if you're in the first few days of your cycle, if you've got a really upset stomach or if you're maybe suffering from high blood pressure at any point in time, generally uh, we wouldn't take Uddiyana Bandha in those instances, but just something to bear in mind. And the three locks together, Jalandara Bandha, Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha make Maha Bandha, the great lock. So the three Bandhas 
all happening concurrently, making the great lock Mahabandha. So physiologically, keeping the neck straight, the lower back stable, and helping to get a sense of expanding through the rib cage on an energetic level, these bandhas are about retaining prana vital energy. So Jalanda Abanda helps to turn energy down, stopping prana from being lost through the crown of the head. Mula Bandha uh, helps Apana, the downward moving energy from being lost through the uh, lower centers, through the uh, Muladhara Chakra. And then Uddiyana Bandha is about lifting um, the subtle prana in the base of the spine up towards the higher centers. So I hope that helps to demystify the three bundas a little bit. As always, if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. And if you've enjoyed this uh, little uh, foray into the bundas, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I look forward to sharing with you soon. Thanks for joining me and namaste.